Hello knowledge seekers, this is Shomen from Oil and Gas Field Quality Control. Today our subject will be related to the welding related sub process only. Let us start. Our subject will be today backing welding. There is back weld, there is backing weld, there is retainer. What are the differences and how far we know about this? Let us have some conceptual idea. To start with backing. Weld backing refers to the material or device placed at the root of a weld joint before welding begins on the front side. Means at the back side of the weld you need to put some kind of material or device. That one can be termed as backing. Its primary purpose is to support and shield the molten weld metal ensuring full penetration throughout the entire joint. So backing can be done by back weld which is root pass. A back weld also known as a root pass is a weld bead made in the groove of a joint followed by the another welds applied on the root side. So first we make root then we start hot pass filling capping. So root is the primary weld which is called is root pass. So this is also can be called as a backing for the welding. Its primary purpose is to ensure that complete joint penetration on complete joint penetration groups which is termed as CJP. Uh, the back weld is usually applied after a root has been gouged out to ensure the weld is made with sufficient material. Backing weld. A backing weld is a weld bead made on the root side of the group before welding on the front side. So backing weld shall be done from the inner side of the joint. It can be a plate or pipe. Pipe of course a big dia, otherwise not possible to weld from inside. So its main objective for the backing weld is ensuring that weld on the front side does not melt through the back side. So back weld is done from the um, front side of the weld, means from the same side we complete the filling and capping, we, we do the root pass. That is called back weld. And backing weld is a weld done from the other side, on the back side of the weld. It can be a plate for a tank or structural welding to protect it that the front side does not melt through the back side. So those name almost similar but not the same item. You can see some photos of the back weld and backing weld. So what is weld backing? Uh, discuss a little bit in detail. Backing weld refers to the material or device placed on the root of a weld joint before welding begins on the front side. In other words, backing is defined as material placed at the root of a weld joint for the purpose of supporting molten metal. Its function is to facilitate complete joint penetration. What are the types of weld backing? Well backing can be done in two, three ways. First one is permanent backing. Permanent backing is usually made of a base metal similar to that being welded and as the name applies becomes a permanent part of the joint because it is fused to the root of the weld and it is not easy to remove. And there is a temporary backing which is made from copper, anodized aluminium, stainless steel or various ceramic materials. They are used to control penetration and are removed after welding. Care must be taken to prevent melting the backing material into the weld puddle. Weld backing is non-essential variable in ASME section 9. You can refer this table here. I, I put the table for you for JITA welding, for FK welding and for SAW welding. In every case as you can see the backing is non-essential variable. Welding the second side of a double sided back weld is regarded as welding a joint with backing because the first weld run put in from the second side is supported by the weld metal from the first side. So when you going to weld from the second side the welding from the front side or the other side that weld metal will be act as a backing for a single sided multi-purpose weld made without backing open root such as one with TIG root or manual mark manual metal arc filling the TIG root run 
is classed as a weld made without backing but MMAW filling capping is classed as a weld made with backing. For welding procedure qualification, some welding codes classify use of backing as an essential variable. Let's say European standard EN15614-1. But others classify it as non-essential. Our popular standard asks me section 9. We are not much encountering with European standard in Saudi or Gulf countries. For welder qualification, backing is invariably classified as essential variable. This is because being able to produce a sound weld route using backing does not demonstrate he has skill to require to make a sound weld without backing. So this is an essential variable for the welder. For WPS, it is most of the cases are non-essential variable. Let us know more about backing. A backing strip is a piece of metal that is placed on the back side of a weld joint to prevent the molten metal from dripping through the open root or burn through. It helps to ensure that 100% of the base metal's thickness is fused by the weld, full penetration. The backing must be thick enough to withstand the heat of the root pass and it is burned in. A backing strip may be used on butt joints, T joints and outside corner joints. Backing may be either left on the finished without both sides accessibility. Weld or removed following welding, ceramic backing or copper strip. If the backing is to be removed, the letter R is placed on the backing side. The backing is often removed from a finished weld because it can be source of stress concentration and a crevice to promote rusting. What is a retainer now? It is an US terminology for a non-consumable material, either metallic or non-metallic, that is used to contain or shape of a molten root run is a retainer. Fusible insert used for teak process. You can see some photos and some example where we put the retainer. You know the term EB insert, that means electric boat company, if they prepare one inserts, or a retainer so it can be called as an insert instead of retainer consumable socket rings so these are some other terms which are also used as a retainer so it is also kind of backing you can say fusible insert so as the name suggests this insert will be fused so it is used for root run on pipes used in conjunction with TIG welding available for carbon steel chromium molybdenum steel, austenitic stainless steel, nickel and copper nickel alloys. Different shapes to shoot the application. You can see some shapes of this fusible insert. That's all for the subject. This subject is a little bit confusing with the word backing, back weld, backing weld. So I thought we should clear our confusion. If you like this type of contents related to the construction, inspection of the pipeline, piping, oil and gas field, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to refer to your friends and if you like the way of my teaching, please don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. Signing off. Showman.